Oh, jeez. Not playing around. Oh, that looks hot. What's got my face in it? Ah, hot. Oh. Oh, ah. What's going on, guys? Obi here, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So, what we're going to be doing today, okay? If you look here, I have already made, last episode I made, and I put on my body a full-on radiation protection suit. Which means we can jump into our little Seamoth right here. I'm going to tip-tap over there. Swimming. What's up, Seamoth? What's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. And now, we're going to be heading towards the Aurora. We're going to be checking out the Aurora, okay? They have some really good stuff there. Now, the only problem is there is 100% positively... Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Got a little nervous there. I know for a fact that there is a Reaper Leviathan swimming around, like, the, the uh, outside perimeters of the uh, Aurora. So, we're just going to go face... We're just going to go, go, go head into it, okay? It's going to be out there. It could be a little scary. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay? It's a giant underwater snake monster that just grabs you, starts screaming at you like... Ridiculous, okay? Uh, I mean, why would the programmers ever put something so scary into a game? I don't know. Okay? Does everybody keep your butts together? Clenched tightly? Because you might poop yourself if you get a little too scared here. And I don't want you kids pooping yourself, okay? Because then you'd be telling your parents, Hey, uh, OP made me poop myself somehow. You know? And we don't want that. Absolutely not. But maybe I should, you know, just gently jump out here. I'm going to scan here. We'll look at a gravity trap. Do I already have this? I don't remember. Sound a little familiar though, doesn't it? Nope, now I do. Got it now, okay? So we got that, we got this, we got that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing really here to grab here. Oh, the music getting a little intense though, isn't it? The music getting a little intense, isn't it? Oh. I'm just keeping my eyes out for drying underwater snakes. Don't mind me, okay? If you was in my shoes, you'd be doing the same exact thing. You know you would. Don't be lying to me, little boy. I know I know these, I know these snakes are scared of you guys, okay? You ain't, you ain't gonna be brave. For me, you know? Where my Seamoth at? Seamoth? Oh. Where is oh, there it is. Okay, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, let's, let's just get inside the Seamoth real quick here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay. I've also been reading a lot of y'all's comments. Uh, You know, I was told I need to build a stasis rifle and stuff like that. Um, I don't have the blueprints for the stasis rifle, and I have not come across it yet. So, unfortunately, I can't build a rifle just yet, but I'm keeping my eyes open, okay? I am keeping my eyes open and peeled. For anything that looks like a stasis or a rifle. Preferably both. That is a big cluster of titanium. A little orangey over here, isn't it? Why is it so orangey? Is it getting nighttime? I don't want it to be nighttime. Because then it'd be super duper scary under here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my boys, I found something over here. I'm just going to hop out real quick because it is super dark. Oh, where's my scanner at? Propulsion can fragment. Okay, that sounds pretty important. I'm getting back inside, though. Uh, please. Okay. It's a little creepy. So we just gonna swim around a little bit. I got my eyes open. Oh, that's not a that's not a reaper. That was just a loud growl of a sand shark. That's no big deal. Sand sharks are not a big threat right now. Okay, reapers are. Reapers are out there, boss. Now they're gonna get us. So I'm just going to stay as close to the body of the Aurora as possible. And I'm just going to grab every little, uh, you know, little blueprint that I see here. Oh, I see something else way up there, too. Like, what, what is this one right here? Grab it real quick. Power transmitter fragment. I don't know what a power transmitter does, but I'm assuming it's got to transmit some kind of power. Seems pretty important to me. I'm going to grab all of them here. Okay, so now we're getting into the danger zone. I mean, just look at this place. This looks dangerous, does it not? Oh! Okay, that's nothing. That's nothing. Okay, we're just gonna... Uh, swoop it. Oh, he touched me. He touched me. He touched me. Uh, there's a lot of growling around me, bros. I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting nervous. Okay, it doesn't matter because we're gonna be brave. You you guys are in the comments. Obi, why are you so scared, man? Whoop! This is scary, dude. Don't ask me why. Look at this. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Just gonna swim over here. Swim in here and hopefully nothing gets me. Is my lights on? How, how do I know if my lights are on? Yeah, I definitely have headlights on. Okay. Well, then. Here we are in the Aurora, basically. Um, You know, you can actually get inside of it on foot here. Explore, which is what I plan to do here. Oh, boy. I touched the rope. I touched the rope. Oh, I touched the ropes. Touch the things. 
No. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Something. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe we need to go. Okay. We, we're going afoot here. I'm getting caught up in all this wires and stuff. Wait, can I not get here? It appears that I've hit some kind of invisible wall here. That's okay. Maybe went a little too deep. There, there's a way to get up there. I just don't know how yet. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit to the left here. Kind of explore a little bit. You know, maybe I can go up here. Okay, here we go. Now we're hitting the surface a little bit. This is pretty good. It's kind of what we want here. Definitely want to get inside somehow. There's definitely like a little ramp you can take. Let's see if I can find it again. Yeah, it being so dark is definitely not helping here. I need the sun to come back out, but then I am kind of like sheltered from the sun here, isn't I? So that probably wouldn't help too much. Oh boy. Aha, I think I found out where I need to go. Right around this area here. Ship's integrity? Oh. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Mm. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so she just said I need a laser cutter. I don't think I crafted a laser cutter yet. Let me check my inventory real quick while I'm underwater running out of air. Oh, that's a repair tool. Okay. Gosh darn it. So I might need to go back and craft the laser cutter. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying, isn't it? But let's, you know, let's get up here real quick. You can open these bad boys up. Oh, we got water here. Oh, by the way, I did pack. Oh, well, they're old now, but I got some old cooked peepers and some water. So I'm doing okay. Oh, little head crab monster things. They're a little dangerous. They can do a little da damage to you, you know, but uh, let's, let's go ahead and grab what we can. We got a battery. Another battery. That's good. Watch out for those guys. You know, I, I got a knife here and, and I'll use it if I had to. But, you know, I'm not the kind of guy that wants to go and chop up head crabs with a knife. I'd rather them do their own thing and uh, be left alone here, but it's fine. You no, know, it'll be totally fine. I'm not, I'm not too worried about things. You know, the bright side, we're not in the water. So uh, that's a plus. You know, we haven't seen the Reaper yet. The Ooh. Of hey, I need this. I'm, I'm like, Ugh, don't touch me, man. I'm going to eat something. I dropped it. No, no, I don't want to drop it. Give me that. I want to pick up whatever this is. Another battery. It's good to collect batteries. Batteries are going to be super important later on, you know? Cause you gotta power things and stuff like that. Oh, another water. Um, yeah, I'll drink an old bottle of water here, and I'll grab the new disinfectant, the good stuff, the high quality H2O. If you know what I'm saying. So right now I'm kind of running around, trying to find the entrance to this place. There's gonna be a door somewhere that we're gonna have to laser cut through. Now, obviously, I just said I don't have the laser cutter, so I'm gonna have to go back and make that. But at least if I know where I gotta head to when I come back. I won't be so discombobulated, you know? I'm trying to find out. Where, where is that door I need to cut into? Like, what is this? That is nothing. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm also going to need a fire extinguisher, I believe. From what, from what it looks like here. It could be over there. Ooh. Maybe over here? Okay. Ah, here we go. Here we go. It was over here. Fantastic. Okay, let's just get a little bit deeper here, you know? Kind of want to explore while I'm here. Oh, look at this. A fire extinguisher right there for our taking here. I need another cold peeper. It should be fine. You know, uh, I'll, I guess I'll leave the first aid there. I'm not really too concerned about that. Can I do this? No, I can't do that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, hotkey our fire trigger. Oh, we have two. Great. You know, that's good. Hey, get out of here, fire! Squirt, squirt! Take out! Get out of here! Ain't that time for you, boy? Got things to explore here, boss. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, fire. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like that piece right there. Okay, here we are. Inside of the spooky Aurora. Kind of reminds me of Alien Isolation a little bit, doesn't it? You know? I want this. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely Ooh, abandoned PDA too. Box data. Okay, let's go ahead and read the uh, abandoned PDA. Aurora Engineering Drone Albert Log. Exit to sleep mode, load and voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer, you identified. Berger says, drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Propulsion cannon retrieved. CTO uses, hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with the repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in right in the cargo bay. Dang it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate your sensors. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweaked this program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. Sensors recalibrated. Ah, <sighs> drone. I know. His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault. But it would really help me do your job and my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion cannon retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, 
this hobby of yours ain't making my job any easier or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that stopping me taking a spacewalk in my skivvies. And you know, never know, all to run my even by the size of me when we get home. Okay, I don't know what all that was about. I wasn't really paying attention. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was too worried about making my voices, you know? Pay attention here. Um, can I, kind of, kind of stuck here. Um, I could have sworn there was a way to get past this, but I don't remember how. Oh, like that. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I bring out the flashlight here, it's a little dark. You know, it's a little dark in here, and I just want to make sure you guys can see, and then that I can see, and I think now I need a laser cutter. Or a passcode. Oh yeah. Okay. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any right. known offensive technology. Yeah, shut up, lady. I don't know. Oh, you don't care. Now sometimes you can find PDAs and stuff that have like passcodes on it and stuff like that. Um sadly right now we don't know the code to open this door. So we gotta go back a little bit and keep exploring here. And hopefully we'll find a code. I don't know. Okay, let's jump up here. Eh, eh, eh. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah, okay, I made it. You never know if you're gonna get stuck, okay? I could have got stuck back there and just died of uh thirst or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's start looking over here to the right. Plus that the old fire extinguisher. Get out of here, fire! Yeah. First squirt, get out of here! Get! Just get! I hate you! Get! Oh. 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 Uh I need to go on some water. Nope, I'm good. Okay. You know, you, you touch the smallest flame and it's game over. Ooh. Data terminal. Altera launches the Aurora. I got some new PDA data. Probably has the, um, oh, another one. Probably has a passcode on it. Oh, I want this. I want this. Let's see here. We got to drop something real quick because I want that. Oh, we'll drop a, gosh darn it. What's the, like, Dumbest thing. I don't need cave sulfur. Drop that. I want this poster, man. Okay, so we just picked up a new PDA. It says, notes to self. So here we are, finally in open space. We crossed the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Hmm, then we have used birthday here. 40 weeks before we get home. 400 weeks, it feels like, before we get home. Not enough credits, Altura is paying me. 1454 cargo bay door. 1454. Okay. So we have our first code. Let's run back a little bit here. Look, cargo bay. That's where we're heading, right? Pop, ba da, pop, pop, pop. Oh. Ooh, cracked my uh my my window there. Or whatever. How do I get up here again like this? There we go. 1454? Was it? I think that was the number here. Alright, let's see here. 1454. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh, yes. Okay, here we are. Keep in mind, I still don't have a laser cutter. So our adventure might be cut short a little bit here. But if it is, I'll just go back off camera and get one. What was that noise? I thought I heard a scream. You all hear a scream? I think it has something to do with my fire extinguisher. Either that or the fire is alive and screaming at me at the top of his lungs. And that... I don't want that ever. Never want that. Okay. Let's go down here a little bit. Explore all the crevices, you know? Never know what you're gonna find inside of an Aurora. You could find anything. Oh, this thing's empty already? Jeez, that went really quick. I only got one left. So I guess we should be a little bit careful with our fire extinguisher, because, you know, it's not infinite, obviously. You know, it, it will die out eventually. Nutrient block. It's good to have, good to have. And another nutrient block. So let's go ahead and drink a water. There we go. Because I was a little thirsty there. We'll grab that block. I don't think there's any reason to go back there. From what I could tell. All right. Let's go down here. Open this. Blah, blah, blah. Disinfected water. We'll drink a normal water. Grab the disinfected one. It's good to have. Absolutely. Those are better. See those little worms down there? Those will latch onto your face. I'll get you. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump in the water. With a knife. I see it. There it is. A little worm. Whoa, lots of worms. I think we gotta go down here. I don't know why. I just wanted to put myself in danger, I guess. Okay, let's get out of here. Watch out for the worms. Worms, get out of here. I hate worms. Don't touch my face, man. Please. Nutrient block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Oh, cook beeper. Oh, I'll just eat it. It's disgusting. I hate it, but it's fine. Okay. So I think here's where we're going to need a laser cutter, maybe. But I'm not entirely too sure. Damaged wire need repair. Oh, I got that. I do got a repair tool here. Uh, let's pick out number five. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. There it goes. There it goes. Perfect. Look at those wires being put right back in a place there. That is good news. We good? We good here? Yeah, boy, we are. Okay. Oh, man. Getting a little intense. So I'm not sure why I was supposed to come in here. I'm going to grab my scan Seamoth Fragment. What? I have that in here. I don't need that. That's poo-poo. That's poo poo doo No, another Seamoth Fragment? No. What? I don't want any of that. Um. Seamoth Depth Module. MK1. This means we can equip our Seamoth to go even deeper now. Oh. That is exactly what I wanted here. That's absolutely fantastic, guys. I did not know that was in here. But that makes it absolutely 100% worth it that we came in here. 100%. Oh, geez, I'm pretty excited now. Heck, yeah, Roonies. Anyways, let's back out a little bit here. This looks like it needs a laser cutter. I see you, little worm. Can I, can I hit you? Don't touch me, man. Get out of here. Don't touch me, bro. Seal door cut open to access. Okay, so for that, we're going to need a laser cutter. At least to a locker room. But you never know what's going to be in there, you know? Could be another deeper modular thing. Drive room. Gotcha, gotcha. Open ease. We got going on here, boss. Batteries. I need this for later. We'll drop the flare here. I don't need a flare. Need that. Um, what should I drop here? I guess I'll just drink another water here. You know, I'm not overdoing it with the waters at least. So, oh, another battery. Gosh darn it! I want all the batteries. You know, because batteries are so cool to have. Really help out later on in your adventures. Okay, now I remember this from my last playthrough. This place is kind of a big old butt cheek to handle. You have to like jump into water and repair all this stuff here, but I don't remember why. Local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Start repairing this hole right here. There's gonna be some in the water, and it's covered with a bunch of worms. So we got after this one, we're gonna have nine more breaches that we have to fix. Okay. Oh. <sighs> See those little worms, man? They're in there. They make it kind of hard. They come up behind you and just latch onto your face. Ridiculous. I hate it. Oh, I, I got a worm. I got a worm. Eh, get off. You got to cut it with your knife. Yeah. Gosh darn little worm, man. Latch right to my arm. What about your wrist? You know, I'm already suffering from carpal tunnel. Got worms biting me in the wrist, man. I ain't want any of that. You know? I don't want it. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. Between my last playthrough and this one, this is going way smoother. Man, last time I was basically dying. What? There it goes. Yeah, last playthrough, I got out of this thing. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Get out of here. Get, 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 get. Oh. Ah! Eh, 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 eh. Oh, there's a lot of them now. Maybe it's harder the closer you get. Get, get, get out of here. Get, 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 stop. Stop. Eh. Okay. I'm surviving somehow. There's a lot of these. Uh, okay, more than I thought. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm doing this a lot better than my last time, though. That's absolutely for sure. I almost died like five times last time. Now I'm just kind of acing it, bros. Okay, boys. Here we are on the very last one that we need to break. Oh, I saw that little one on the right to me. He looks like he pooped himself a little bit. It's fine. Totally fine. Drive core breach sealed. Okay. Sweet. I don't know how that helps us, but it, you know. Whoa. Radio levels decreasing. So I guess that's good. Music's, you know, good. Pick up Cyclops engine. Cyclops engine efficiency module. Yes. We don't even have the Cyclops yet, but we're going to be getting it pretty soon. You know, probably next episode, maybe. I'm not entirely too sure. What's over there? Can I get over there? Can I get over there? Yeah, it looks like I can. What's over here? Maybe there's some more modules I can pick up or something. These modules are super important, guys. It basically allows us to progress a lot deeper and, oops, <laughs> a lot deeper and further under, you know, on our adventures and stuff. Huh? Gosh darn it. Oh, yeah, what? New I got a new blueprint. She just said new blueprint acquired, but she didn't say what I got. Huh? Let's see here. 
These look like they need power. Can I put batteries in here? What would happen if I did? Um. Um. Okay, so I don't think you could actually put batteries in here. Let's just check data cable. Where's a data cable at? Man, I don't know. Do one for me, man. I don't think this has anything to do with anything. It's just here to confuse me. Okay. Let's start heading back now. Okay, so what I need to do here is I actually got to go all the way back home and get myself a laser cutter, which is kind of lame. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and I'm just going to cut it out the video, and I'll see you guys in a brief moment. Okay, guys, so I got my laser cutter here. Ba, ba, zap, zip, zap. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I got it here. I did not find Reaper Leviathan on my way back. So that was a plus, but he's out there. I can't believe we have not saw one yet. Man, I'm gonna have to go purposely find one pretty soon. Ooh, little worm. I'm gonna have to go find one pretty soon. Just to show you guys, you know, that they do exist. They are out there. How does this work again? So I just, I just hold the right click. It does the rest for me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna participate. I'm gonna help him cut it open. Zippity zap zap soup. This thing takes a lot of batteries. Look at that. I'm already down to what, 85%? Oh, jeez. Not playing around. Oh, that looks hot. I see my face in it. Ah, hot. Oh! Eh. Oh! Ah! Eh. Get off me, dude! Jesus, man. What are you doing, bro? Anyways, doesn't matter. Because we're going in here. So, let's see here. Now that we're in the locker room, Bandit PDA, data, downloads, Exora, Exory mission orders. Gotcha. Did that perfectly. Let's see. Aurora Auxiliary mission orders. Mission, search and rescue. Target crew of the Mongolian vessel, the Gassi. Ooh, look at the top right there. We got another radio message, too. Last known position of this was the vicinity of planet 4546B. Aradine Arm. Contact is Mongolian Emissary. Joe Guy has I can't say any of these words. Mission brief. A Mongolian vessel, the Degasi, disappeared almost a decade ago. Carrying with it a high ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kazar. And you're always going to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degasi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altora's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian consuls. Okay, okay. The mission details are this. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around 4546B, Category 3 Ocean Planet, approximately 13 months post-launch. This will bring the ship within the range of the Degasi's last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in Aurora's cargo package for this mission. The Gossip Crew Manifesto has been distributed to senior employees and a separate message. What was that? Something just made a splash. Interesting. Do I get a splash? What's doing that? A little scary, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, well, that is. Anyways, keep exploring here. Another battery. And another battery. Okay, I can't pick up every battery I see, unfortunately. A little water here, but I'm, I'm actually pretty good on water and food and all that stuff, you know? I've been taking care of my body lately, so it's good. So let's see. Up here. Ooh. We need my repair tool again. Okay, I'm going to grab that real quick. Put down a number four here. We haven't been using my flashlight too much. There it is. And, uh, can I, yeah, there we go. I can repair it without even putting out the fire. That was important to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Doesn't matter. We'll go through here. Nothing back there for me. <gasps> there. Look at that, guys. The prawn suit. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think I made that in my last playthrough. Or if I did, I barely used it. Because I, I don't know why. I should have used it more. But the Cyclops, man. It's so cool. I just love the Cyclops, you know? Now I'm saying brass. So, you know? What I did do. What I did. What I do. And how I do. Anyways, we're gonna start scanning these bad boys in. Let's see. Pawn suit fragment. Here we go. Scan that part in right there. Boop. Wait. That was it? That was all the materials I needed? Did I just get the whole the whole thing? Should I scan this some more? Let's scan this one right here. I feel like I need more blueprint parts of it. Oh, two out of four. Okay, okay. So I need to scan in two more of these bad boys. Should be pretty. Pretty doable here because there's, you know, one right there and one over there. So it looks like we're getting a prostitute today, boys. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. I set myself a fire. I'm going in the water. Okay. There's electricity down here. I shouldn't be in that water. This water looks really dangerous. No, get out of the water, dude. Jeez, man. You see live wires and sparks coming out of the water. You definitely don't want to go in there. No way. Oh, what is this? 
storage module. Oh, I almost passed that up. I didn't know I was there. Drop the battery. Gotta have batteries. Yes. I love the modules. I love the upgrade modules. This is so cool. I love them so much. Hey, stuck. So I got three out of four to prawn two fragments. The last one over there is the one I need. However, I did manage to get up here by walking up the railing right there. It was pretty, uh, pretty complex actually. So now that I'm here, I'm just gonna check real quick. Kitty poster. 100% want the kitty poster. And the vending machine as well. My boys. Oh, I can't have this. I can't scan this for real. I'll, I'll have the command chair because that looks pretty important there. With that. And, uh. Eh, eh. Over here, like this. Ooh. Counter. I guess I'll take that. Why not? And then we have a PDA over here as well. Grab the poster. Absolutely. Grab that. That's locked. That's locked. Okay. Let's read that PDA we just got here, boss. Ah, so we got today's lunch menu here. So we're probably not going to need to read this. Uh, you know, for starter, for breakfast, they're having space, bear, block, or whatever. Then for the main course, they're having cottage pie or a nutrient block. And then for dessert, dried fruits and nuts. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, look at that. Whole little menu here. Mac and cheese, garlic bread, biscuits. Uh, BBQ sliced beef. Jeez, man. People eat pretty, pretty good over here, aren't they? I'm jealous. I'm gonna eat some of that. Oh, delicious. So, uh, what's over here in supply? Hello? Who's this? Anything important here? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, water. Filtered water. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yeah, like, that's what I need. More water. Like, water planet. Ooh. I do like nutrient blocks, though. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah, don't even eat this. This is disgusting now. That's some rotten old peepers. Definitely don't want that anymore. Hey, okay. I got my nutrient blocks. I got some water stuff and blah, blah, blah. Now we're going this way. Just kidding. We're going that way. Just kidding. We're on this way. 100% know what I'm doing. That looks dangerous. Oh, jeez. Cabin. Um, I'm getting upside the cabin here. Let's see. We got more batteries. Uh, another PDA. Uh, Transgov profile. Ooh, that sounds pretty important. Interesting. Open that here. More water. Okay. Okay. So far, pretty standard stuff here. Let's go ahead and read that new PDA that I just got here. It's going to be under here. Uh, is this important? I want to read the ones that have to do with the story, not really anything that deals with, like, side story here. Okay, so this one seems to be kind of, like, nonsense. Nonsense stuff, and I don't, I don't have to have nonsense stories, okay? I need real stories, real tangible stories here that I can read to you, you bros and stuff out there, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is the very last room we need to explore here. This lady's picture is literally everywhere. Everyone's locker has this lady's picture, you know, in there. Super weird. Don't know why. So many people are in love with her. I need to grab this. I'm actually hurting. I don't need that. Yeah, I'm actually taking a little damage over the fire. I've been standing in the fire left and right here. It's been absolutely crazy. I definitely need to pay a little bit more attention to my, my feet placement, if you will. Anyways, I think we've fully explored the Aurora. The only thing we need to get now. Oh, the electric room, huh? I forgot about this place. I forgot how to get in here, guys. I think you just gotta... Eh. Okay, that works too. <laughs> just walk around. It's no big deal. Oh... Oh, okay. Hold on. Maybe one of, maybe one of these uh, things I've gotten gave me a passcode that I didn't, that I didn't see or anything. I'm going to try to use birthday. Um, I don't have any more codes right now. I only have one thing under codes here, so I'll try it. What was it again? Uh, 1806. Try it out. I don't think it's going to work, though. Unless it's just use cabin. Captain? Is Captain you? Oh, there is no zero, so you can't do that. Okay. Oh, that ain't going to work. Okay, so um, we need to find some more codes. No idea what else would be. Probably somewhere in a locker or something crazy. Um, excuse me. Oh, hold on. Another cabin here. Hmm. Ooh, another PDA here. Let's see here if this has any codes on it. Nope. It's not in the code section here. Hmm. What am I missing here, boss? Okay, sadly, I didn't have any luck finding the codes. So that's kind of lame. Um, maybe I can find them later on somewhere else in the world. Who knows? I'd, I'd assume they're in a Aurora somewhere. I just don't know where. Ooh, another door back there. Potentially explore that. Or is that where I came from? That is where I came from. Okay, okay. We need to get this last piece here. We gotta find a way to scan that bad boy in. Gotta get close to it though, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, check this out, boys. A power cell. Those are like super batteries. Really cool. I only want those. Let me get this piece here. Can I scan it? Oops, that's not my scanner. Yes, I can reach it from here. Man. Fantastic. Now we can craft the prawn suit. Now we're cooking. 
Yes. Yes, indeed. I can self scan. Let me do a self scan real quick. Check my body out real quick. Whoa. No adverse events detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. I gotta be vigilant for symptoms of danger stuff. Okay, I definitely don't want to get lost down here in a in a tube of uh, a maze of tubes or anything crazy, you know? It's the number one way people people die, probably. Ooh. Anyways, guys, I think we got all we needed out of the Aurora as far as I can tell. Um, if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below, please. That'd be super, super helpful. I most probably did miss a few things here, but uh, let's go over here. Let's start making our way back to the uh, Seamoth. Okay, boys, I made it back outside to my Seamoth here. I'm gonna go ahead and... Wow, it's kind of far, isn't it? I think I took another way out. I got kind of lost. I don't know how you get lost as a hallway, but... <laughs> you know, I did it. I got lost for sure. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and start heading back to my base in... Uh, Let's just take our time here. It's very dark, you know, very spooky. Oh, there it is! Reaper Leviathan, yo! We definitely don't want to aggro it because that will blow up my Seamoth. It'll grab my Seamoth and literally rip it in half. Uh. Oh, please no. No, dude, no. It went into the sand. Oh, jeez. There, there. I touched the wall. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Please. Don't turn around, Obi. Should I turn around? I'm gonna turn around. Okay, I think we're okay. Pretty sure we're okay. It's gonna go this way. We definitely need to take out Seamoth home and repair it right away. We have taken a lot of damage this episode. I'm trying to get into the Aurora. I gotta fix this bad boy up. Anyways, I think we're safe now. Okay, it should be, should be a straight shot. Back to the base. You know, we're only 900 meters out. Not a big deal. Okay. Be totally fine. And we get to see a Reaper. Finally. I knew there was one around here. Okay. I was just waiting for him to pop up and scare me. But uh, we caught eyes of him first. Okay. We caught eyes of him first. What is that? What is this? What's this right here? Okay. Hold on. I don't remember this one here, boys. Someone else's life pod was here. Totally upside down, too. Can I go inside? Can't get in there. Oh, big hole in it. Probably from the Reaper. Makes sense. Open the data box here. We got a creature decoy blueprint. Another PDA as well. Okay, let's go. Oakley dokely. Here we are back home. I'm gonna go ahead and actually park the sea moth inside the moon pool this time. You know, because why not? Yeah. Pop it up, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and repair this bad boy up as well while I'm here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Little compartment right there. Put my little uh, upgrades in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that once it's 100%. Access my upgrades here. Where are they? Let's see here. Storage module. Boop. Awesome. Now my Seamoth can hold some gears. Seamoth. Depth. Module MK1. Crush depth now 300 meters. Oh. And this one right here is for the Cyclops. So, okay. We're doing pretty well here. Let me go check the battery life on this bad boy. I have a battery compartment somewhere in here. Actually, I think it's inside. Fully charged. Oh, moon pool. We're charging it, yo. Sweet. Anyways, guys, I think this is where we're going to leave this one off. When we come back, we're going to read that PDA I just found from that other uh, life hull thing. And then we'll go ahead and listen to that radio message I got here as well. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Subnautica. If you did, make sure to leave the video a thumbs up. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Anyways, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you and you, you know you want to see more from me. Obviously, done. Come on, guys. Oh, if you guys do me a huge favor, hit that notification bell. That would be legit. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.